Today marks the entry of the final phase of the launch campaign, which started on October 14th, with the unpacking, the pneumatic controls, some uh, minor modifications of the thermal installation of the attitude control systems on Fregat, uh, followed by the autonomous electrical verifications of the versatile Fregat upper stage. The pre-integration of the four lateral boosters, the first stage, with the core stage, the Block A, or also called the second stage of the Soyuz launcher, was performed during the second half of October. Final assembly and testing of the vehicle started on November 25th, some days prior to the beginning of the combined operations. My name is Cyril Polroy, the mission director for the flight VS-23. The launch campaign began on the 16th of October, earlier than scheduled, due to a request from Airbus who optimizes the transportation cost for Keops by sharing the same Antonov than Tiba 1, one of the passengers of the flight VA-250. Angels, one of the auxiliary payloads, arrived also in the same Antonov. After the arrival, Keops performed some health checks for two weeks and then began a standby phase. The satellite was transferred to the S-5A through the clean corridor for the propellant loading. The fueling and the pressurization were performed in one day on the 23rd of November. After the meeting on the adapter, KIOP was encapsulated inside the Azapes, the multiple launch structure for Soyuz. ISAT arrived by freight on the Air France flight on the 21st of November. The preparation campaign lasted two, three days before being ready for the meeting. OPSAT, the third and last auxiliary payload, arrived by own luggage on the Air France flight on the 27th of November. The three auxiliary payloads were mated on the Azapes on the 13th of November. Cosmos Skymed second generation, the main passenger arrived by Antonov on the 12th of November for three weeks of repression inside the S1A building. We transferred the satellite to S3B building for the propellant loading. Fregat was brought into the F-Cube, the Fregat fueling facility, on November 7th for the pressurization of the helium vessels to flight level and the fueling of the Stolberg propellant tanks. After the final preparations, Fregat was transferred on December 5th to the S-3B, the spacecraft fueling and preparation facilities. The Azapes with Keops, Angels, ISAT and OPSAT was integrated onto the Fregat on the 6th of December. Finally, Cosmos Skymed second generation was integrated onto the Azapes on the 9th of December, completing all the satellite activities. The rollout of the three stage from the MiG building to the launch pad has been performed on D-3 last Thursday, as well as the transfer of the upper composite and the frigate from the S3B onto the launcher. A special thank you goes to all the operational teams for the huge efforts and uh, contributions to take us through this very smooth launch campaign so far. Thank you for watching.